And I often get asked what TAVR is, and it stands for transcatheter aortic valve replacement. And what that is is a, a minimally invasive way of replacing the aortic valve for specifically the disease process called aortic stenosis. The aortic valve, which usually has three pieces that move freely, become encased in calcium and cholesterol and fused together. And instead of allowing for a large opening uh, to, uh, uh, for the blood to leave the heart, a pinhole occurs. Um, so now we need to open up the valve so that the heart can empty and feed the rest of the body. This allows us to avoid major open heart surgery. It's a much easier procedure for patients to go through. There was a lot of people before uh, TAVAR was available who were not even a candidate to have surgery done. Now that brings all those people now to the forefront to have the opportunity to have the procedure done because the risk of the procedure is so low even the very elderly and the very sick patient can undergo TAVA. So that's the most important uh, aspect of the TAVA procedure. Quality of life following surgical intervention versus TAVA. Quality of life is better um, after TAVA. Um, this is why it was expanded to intermediate risk. Um, patients have an immediate relief of their shortness of breath, which is the limiting factor, and uh, they are able to have an increase in their exercise tolerance. It's. Uh truly a multidisciplinary approach. There is no one person that can pull this off by themselves. Cardiac surgeons, interventional cardiologists, echocardiographers, and the team from the operating room cardiac surgery team as well as the cardiac catheterization lab team get involved to perform the procedure. The program has been in place for nearly five years now. Uh, we started in May of 2012 with our first patient. We were able to establish the program uh, under the leadership of Dr. Nybart, who uh, is the head of cardiothoracic surgery, he saw this vision that this technology was going to become not only revolutionary, but take over traditional surgical valve replacement uh, for the aortic valve in the future. Jersey Shore has become a definite regional leader in transcatheter aortic valve replacement, and for patients that live within the area, I don't see a reason for them to travel far. In addition, Jersey Shore has performed well over 400 of these transcatheter aortic valve replacements, and it goes to show on our record that we have extremely high success rates and a very, very low complication rate that outpaces most centers in the country. And because of that, I really see no reason for families or patients to leave the area to go to other major metropolitan areas that may be quite inconvenient for them.